Sunday, Brentwood. Hear the word of the Lord as it comes from Matthew 28. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning, and his clothes as white as snow, and the guards shook for fear of him, and became as dead men. But the angel said, but the angel answered and said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you see Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. As he said, come see the place yeah, yeah. where the Lord lay. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he's risen from the dead, and indeed, he's going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Amen. Amen. We're here today on this Resurrection Sunday because he is not in the grave. He is risen. Come on, I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. You ask me how I know he lives, because he's lived within me. Amen. Amen. Would you please stand for our opening hymn of praise? Good morning, Bridgewood. Our morning hymn is I certainly, Christ the Lord is risen today. Would you join the chorale and our band as we sing this wonderful hymn of the church and you can find the text in your worship guide this morning. Christ the Lord is risen today.
you may be seated in his presence. We are up to the point of the service where we welcome any first time visitors. We would ask if you are a first time visitor that you would please stand and remain standing until the ushers has given you a card. Any first time visitors? Amen, amen. Amen, my brother. We are so delighted that you have come to worship with us on this Resurrection Sunday. We know there were many churches you could have gone through, so we are delighted to have you with us. We at Brentwood exist to serve the kingdom of God and to extend the gospel of Jesus Christ by reaching people, developing believers, and strengthening missions. We at Brentwood, we are the church where Christ is. The main Amen. Amen. Come on and give my brother a hand. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Now, if you would do me a favor and look to your left and right and compliment the person sitting next to you. Amen. 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 As we let our worshipers enter, uh, we now prepare for offering. We want to remind you that today there are two offerings. The first is for missions, and the money you place in missions goes to help those in need throughout not only this city, but this nation. Amen? Amen. Then the second offering is for your tithes and offerings, and we would ask that you would do as God has prospered you. By now, you should have received a letter announcing the build for our fourth Habitat for Humanity home. Amen? Amen. Which is located on South Deerfield in the Brentwood subdivision. Our goal is to raise $35,000. If you have not given, we need your donation today. Amen? Also, let me remind you to give your donation for a soul sent you the Lenten devotional. Please designate that in the other column of your envelope. Amen. On your sheet you were given this morning is our offertory reading. I would ask that you would take it out so that we may read it together. It's offering time. <laughs> amen. Amen. Lord, I thank you today for the ability and the willingness to offer you my time, my talent, and my tent. I dare not come into your house empty-handed. I am standing on the promises of God. Amen. If you believe that, give God some praise on this morning. Amen. Amen. We will now have an emphasis by the scholarship committee. Good Easter morning, Brentwood. Good Easter morning, Brentwood. Good morning. Amen. I am excited to be before you to talk about this year's scholarship and fashion show luncheon. And actually, I'm not going to bore you with the things that you already know. You already know we've raised over a million and a half dollars and awarded that in scholarships and grants. Amen. Amen. You already know. On average, every year we give scholarships and grants to almost 100 students here in the community and the church. Amen? Amen. And you already know that the scholarship and fashion show luncheon this year is on May 15th. It's at the Hilton Houston Americas at 2 o'clock, right? right? So y'all already know all that. Right. So what I really want to talk to you about is these applications. We want to improve the quality of applications. We want to improve the quality of applications so we can award more scholarships and grants. Amen? Amen. Can you believe that we 
are not able to give away 100% of the monies we raise because we don't have enough applications that are completed. And when I say completed, let me give you an example. We have applications that come to us with no letters of recommendation. We have applications that are submitted where the student doesn't indicate what scholarship they're applying for. How can we award a scholarship or grant if you don't tell us which one you qualify for, okay? We have applications that are submitted to us by parents because they're written in the third person, okay? So we need to clean up our pool of applicants. I know this is a hard message to swallow on Easter morning, but you need this message. So what the scholarship committee is endeavoring to do, since we got the raising the money part of the house in order because of your commitment, your, con your continuous commitment over the last 34 years, we need your help um, in cleaning up the application side. And so what we're doing is we're hosting a how to complete my application workshop. Amen? It's a one-page application, so I'm gonna need your help on this. It is not that difficult. Uh, April 24th in the LLC at 12.30. Parents, students, if you know somebody that's gonna apply, come. We wanna get a 100% accurate application pool this year. Amen? Can y'all join us in that goal? Okay, so again, May 15th, is the fashion show and luncheon. I know a lot of you got your tables. I need a lot more of you to get your tables, get your friends and family to get your tables. We raised over $100,000 last year. We're gonna do that again this year. And then on April 24th, I need to see you guys in the LLC at 1230 so we can get these applications completed and we can award even more money and be even more beneficial to the community and, and to the students of this uh, church body. Amen? Thank you for your attention. Just a few additional announcements. The church office will be closed tomorrow and all weekday activities are canceled. Join us Wednesday at 7 p.m. for our midweek worship where I will be continuing the teaching on dress for victory, amen? A teaching on spiritual warfare. We just want to remind you that computer classes are being offered on Thursdays from 1 to 2.30 p.m. and then again from 6.30 to 8 p.m., amen? The cost is $25 for the six-week class and it's free for those ages 65 and above, amen? For more information, contact me, amen? Uh, the last thing is we want to uh, just bring your attention to the insert that was in your program today. Please take that as your timely notice. Amen? Amen. That is it for our announcements. We will now go back into worship with our handbell.
because he lives. That song written by Gloria and James, some Gaither, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. He, because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds 